Good morning and welcome to a new term. It is Monday the 22nd of February and we're back in school once again. Now fingers crossed I'm hoping that we'll see the rest of you pretty soon but I'll talk a bit more about that later. So a Monday assembly is an achievement assembly. Um, we're not going to do stars today because we had a week off and I really hope you did take a week off. You didn't do any work at home, took a bit of time to chill and not to worry about home learning. But now we're back again. Hopefully next week we'll have stars and hopefully it will be you because you have done some fantastic learning at home. So I'll start off as I normally would with merit certificates. And I'll say congratulations to Teddy Blanche because he's got his 200 merits there. And we've got Bowie Harris, 100 merits. Well done to you. And we've got Joseph Sarda. Well done, Joseph. And Jacob John Hogburn. Well done to you. Excellent work. And Lucy Lewis, 100 merits. Well done. Lily Burnett, 100. Excellent work. Um, Jensen Brennan Sands, 100 and Frankie Morton Walker 100 so really really well done and what's lovely with those merits is that a lot of you that have got certificates today are not in school and you're getting your merits because you're doing fantastic home learning so really well done remember now we're back in school you can send in learning any way you like seesaw get your mum and dad to drop it off at the office email you name it it's all there and ready for you and then the new work will be up there this morning so please remember it um we've also got um an update from mr hulks regarding the road to tokyo and i'll be honest i can't quite believe this how well you've done and how much exercise all the children at castle hill have done according to mr hulks now we are now at Rio, we've got there, and we're on our way to Sydney. Now, if you look at a globe, Sydney is the other side of the world. So you've done exceptionally well to get there. Well done. And he said there's just 14,000 miles until we get to Sydney. So we'll need a big effort from everyone to get there. We have now done, and I can't quite believe this, over 922 hours of exercise, which is amazing. So keep going really really well done oh, i didn't think we'd get there so quickly but you have well done then we've also got um hours of engagement and on um on our zoom assemblies as we normally do and year five still are smashing it so well done if you're a year five you are easily the best attenders with our zoom catch-ups so come on the rest of you this week i would like to see lots more of you involved okay can hear my phone in the background we'll just ignore that and we'll carry on so also this week i'm going to start looking at involvement with um the seesaw as well and we're going to add that to our attendance so it's going to be the zoom catch-ups and how many children are engaging in seesaw as well i have to say at the moment it would be year five easily because year five are doing the best with the amount of work they're doing so keep it up Keep going, new week, let's see if we can catch year five with that. Now in assembly this morning, um, I played changes because I kind of felt this week we've got a few changes coming up. Um, I went for a walk yesterday and it was lovely. I even didn't take my coat, which is amazing. And it was almost felt quite warm. But I also went for a walk the Sunday before and it was absolutely freezing. And there was still ice on the ground, people were still sledging, um, and I nearly fell over. So the change between last Sunday and this Sunday was absolutely amazing. And I thought, yeah, spring is definitely coming. Everything else is happening, coronavirus and all of that, but spring is definitely still coming. And I had a look around and I really did see quite a few signs of spring. Um, just on the roadside where I was walking, there were those crocus flowers. Now, you, you're probably not sure they're called crocuses, but they're normally yellow or purple, and they tend to sprout out in flower beds, through the grass and all around. So have a look around, see if you can see them. I also saw snowdrops, which are a lovely little white flower. 
that's just coming out now, and they're called snowdrops, obviously, because they're white like snow. And even daffodils were coming out now, and we all know what daffodils look like. So there's definitely signs of spring, and it was definitely getting much, much warmer. And I thought, what a lovely change. The other change which made me feel very excited this morning as well was when I got up, my alarm went at ten past six, and normally it's pitch black. But I looked out my window this morning and it was light. And that's fantastic because that means spring is definitely coming. I much prefer getting up in the light and I was pretty excited. The other big change, which I'm hoping to see today, and I've already had a couple of chats with children in school already today, is about what will Boris say tonight? I am so hoping that in two weeks, you will all be able to come back to school and that would be amazing because we've missed you and a school is not right without all the children in it. So fingers crossed, in a couple of weeks I'll be doing this Zoom assembly right here. You'll be looking at me in a screen but instead of being at home you will be in the classroom and that would be amazing. So I really, really hope that that can happen. When we are back, just a reminder, there were the three things which I keep reminding you at the start of term. And I checked it in assembly this morning and everyone still remembered. The first one, enjoy being a child. Let the adults do the worrying. That's the reason why we get gray hair, because we do the worrying. You're a child, you shouldn't be worried at all. You should be concentrating on being a child and doing your best. And that's what I want you to do. Number two was do some work. Some of you have been amazing at doing work at home. We know how difficult it is. But number two is try and do something. And let's face it, you've only hopefully got a couple more weeks left to do some work from home. So come on, you've all got laptops and things like that now because we've given out plenty. Let's see some work at home this week. I want to see some. And if you're someone that hasn't done any yet, come on. This is your week to get back into learning. Let me see some work. And come on, you can do it. And number three was that age-old simple one, wash your hands. Now, if you're at home and you haven't been out much, maybe you get out of practice. So what I want to remind you this morning is get into that habit again because when you're at school you'll be washing and anti-backing all the time and this is the, what we do for school it says when you get into school you wash your hands every time you leave the classroom you wash or anti-back your hands every time you come back into the classroom you wash or anti-back your hands when you go out for break time you wash them when you come back in from break time you wash them if you go out to the toilet, you wash them before you leave, you wash them after you've been to the toilet, and you wash them when you get back into class. When you go out for lunch, you wash your hands. When you come in for lunch, you wash your hands. When you come back from lunch, you wash your hands. Before you go home, you wash your hands. So all of that in a school day, and that's what we've got to get used to. I must admit, I was at home for a week last week with half term, and I nearly forgot this morning so it's a routine we must really, really get back into doing. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we will see you very, very soon. Tell mums and dads to watch out for my letters because they will be coming out soon. And as soon as I know more, I will let everyone know. The good news is coronavirus rates are dropping everywhere. And as long as we're careful, they will now keep dropping. So stay safe, have a lovely day, and I really, really, really hope to see you soon. It's happening. Hang in there. We are nearly there. Have a great day.